some of its top players. All right, well, let's get right into it. It's going to be Shanghai versus Pride. Fox versus Pichu, of course, because we're running Shanghai is the Fox from San Diego. I believe yes, he is. I think he's ranked like top five in his whole region. I don't know. I know they just dropped a new PR recently, if I can try and find that. I think he's either fourth or fifth. I... Or third, I, I'm not really too sure. I know, he, I know he's at least ranked in San Diego. Yes. Well, definitely what he's going to show off the pride here. He's the, the reason why he's ranked. He's putting in pretty much 94% all the way on Pichu. And like we mentioned earlier when we saw Aloha, Pichu is very much a glass cannon. He will either do very high damage or he's going to put himself at very high percent. And unfortunately, we'll lose Fox much easier. To a character like Fox, I feel like this matchup can be pretty even at times. Shenzhou is ninth. Ninth, okay. I know, he, I know he was at least ranked in San Diego. Yes, he was ninth sure. in San Diego. I am right now 117%. This is a very scary position for Pride because if he jumps at the wrong time and Shanghai is ready for it, he's just going to explode. Yeah. Uh, but instead, Shanghai is just looking for these nares, wants to go for the confirm into up smash. I'm not sure that it would work at this percent on Pichu. Oh, no. He's still got to recover here. Going to go for the angled one, but unfortunately, Pride reads the recovery. Yeah. I mean... Like I mentioned it's earlier, Fox. it's Fox, yeah. And that's what why I feel like what makes the matchup kind of even, right? Fox can decimate Pikachu in terms of like percent and speed as well as Pichu can, but it's the offstage game that makes it really difficult for Fox. Yeah, and they're both just trading errors on their shield, but finally Shanghai, I think that shield poked. Yeah. And that's kind of one of those things that like Pichu got as a somewhat of a balance change, right? His hurt box is a little bit bigger, but also it happens to stick up the shield just a little bit more. All right, but now Shanghai do a good job of just weaving in and out. He gets the dash tag pride at the legend. How long can he keep him there? These jabs are going to work wonders for him to do so. Mm -hmm. Once again, the jab trades with the down tilt, but because it, you know, you're going for a rapid jab, you're already mashing A, another jab comes out. Yeah. Nice tries to go for a two frame down smash, but unfortunately misses the timing on that one. Nair oh, into the no. upside. He doesn't run far enough. Down tilt into the forward smash. Not going to do it. Good Nair coming up the ledge. Oh, and that is going to be it. Shanghai able to take a lead on this game number one here. Good forward there, and then like he even waits to see if he can confirm it to another upper, looking where Pride is being at. Sets it all up for the edge guard here. I like the fact that he's going to go for that downer. He knows the recovery. Yeah, but what an angle there from Shanghai going inward to the stage so we can ride up it instead of yeah. going straight up and get intercepted by Pride. And against certain characters and their, and their options to cover you at the ledge, it's really good to understand, like, okay, I might have to ride the wall to avoid getting my hurt box to stick out and getting punished. Or getting hit by something like down air. Alright, bear out of shield. Gonna just force Shanghai out stage. He goes high. I like the use of the forward air because it stalls his momentum mm -hmm. up there. Kind of makes him go a little farther up and then there into the up smash. Classic. Hey, it's us again. Anyway, so that was still, still really good from Shanghai to understand, like, okay, these are some of the things that Pride has up against me. If he's going to edge guard me this way, I kind of need to change up my strategy here and make sure, okay, if I'm coming back to the stage, I'm riding the wall, I'm making sure I can have other recoveries, such so as going for a high one. Get a really firm understanding of, okay, this is the way that Pride wants to play, so I have to adjust my game plan to it. Yo, Strides. Strides, pass me a cheese it. Yeah. All right, All right, so game number two on Smashville here. Already 31% racked up onto Pride. Low combo, low percent combos for Shanghai gonna do wonders, but uh, already Pichu answering it. All good there. He's got him off the stage. I like the fact that he goes, tries to go for a downer, probably and try to anticipate either his, uh, with a two frame for it, but I kind of question it still at the same time. It right, goes for Nair into an up smash. Not sure I've seen that one before, but it doesn't work out for Pride. However, he still does have Shanghai on ledge. Yeah, and it was good for Shanghai to understand, like, I have to stall myself in my recovery. Oh. But unfortunately, on that situation here, Pride will just take care of the stock. Did he die for using side B? I feel like he did, your hit yeah. Backwards. Because I definitely don't think that should have killed Shanghai under the normal condition. Yeah. Up throw. Like oh, and he catches anyway. the jump. I feel like that's why Shanghai has kind of slowly been eluding himself to every time he has pride up in the air with an up throw or an up tilt. He waits for the response. All right, here we go. Dash tag goes for the up air, but a good tech in place from pride gets him out of the situation. And now these backers are just coming out as much as possible for pride. 
Nice. He's picking the right opportunity. Like, okay, I have this high. I might as well have to commit to my side special and then make the recovery this way. Yeah, and the th Oh. Interesting option. And I was going to say, the thing is, when Shanghai goes high, Pride really has to commit to it. Whereas if he goes low, he can kind of just rinse repeat until Shanghai dies. Yeah. I feel like it's more of a higher risk, high reward situation for Shanghai. Oh, yeah, for sure. Back throw. Oh, I like it too. Runs off of the downer and even slows his recovery back down with the Thunder. But Fox is still live on the stage. Nair, no opportunity to get a tech chase or a finisher there. Yeah, Pride definitely at too high of a percent. And this is going to be a difficult situation for Shanghai, I feel like, because if he can't get the stock with Nair up smash, Fox doesn't have any other real kill confirms. He's going to have to try and just find a raw back air or an up air. Or even an up smash, but that's he's gonna die if he misses. Yeah. But he does not miss right there. Able to close it out. Dash up smash. Two socks to one now. Shanghai gets the up, or Pride rather gets the up throw and evens it up immediately. Yeah. Rapid jab, put him off the stage here. Gets an opportunity here at the ledge. We'll see what Shanghai can respond to. I like that. Let's go with the ledge for a really good reason. He wanted Pride to feel safe. So I can go back there, put him, hit him with an air, and then put him right back in the corner. I am these full hop nairs. Shanghai's game plan is really just revolved around the full hop nair, and it's working out so much for him. Yeah, it's been like you said, right? Like Fox has those coco frames, but at much higher percent, he really has to work for it. And I feel like that's why Shanghai sees here. We do have Pichu at 85 percent, and he will die possibly to that nair up smash for a very good reason because of Pichu being like a top three, top three featherweight. Okay, but this is a difficult spot. Missed oh, times. Oh, no. And the the hype that he got it was enough to confirm it to the up air. And I feel that like slowly Shangri was building up to that, which is why he wasn't side specialing at the ledge. You know how you have to worry about forward smash. Yeah. You know you have to worry about forward.